and I was so excited about the pictures and which one I was potentially going to post. And literally, I remember going to Adobe Lightroom, looking through these pictures and feeling so embarrassed. My body looked horrible. For some reason, I happened to lose weight everywhere, but somehow gained weight in my stomach. I felt like I was a pregnant ant or something. <laughs> Yo, what's good everybody? This is Afis from The Roommates. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. As most of you guys know, for the past couple of weeks, we've been in Miami really enjoying ourselves and you guys have been loving the vlogs. The last Miami vlog comes out this Friday, so make sure you guys check it out and share it. It's really enjoyable and the nightlife scenes are some of my favorites. But I wanna tell you guys a story about the very first time I went to Miami and that was in March of 2019. So March of 2019, you know, the podcast was still trying to take off. We're still trying to get better. We're still trying to grow the podcast. But me and Francis say, you know what? A great idea would be, let's take a mini vacation. Did we earn the vacation? Of course not. But we say, you know what? Let's go on a vacation. Let's go to Miami. We've always wanted to go and we've never been there before. So me and Francis went there, got an Airbnb, you know, got a decent car, and just tried to live out the Miami life. And then I had a brilliant idea, and I said, dude, why don't we go to South Beach and take some epic pictures of us in Miami? Francis was like, dope, that sounds like a good idea to me. So we woke up first thing in the morning, headed to South Beach, and we busted out the camera and started taking a bunch of pictures. After taking a bunch of pictures, we went back to the Airbnb, and I was so excited about the pictures and which one I was potentially going to post. And literally, I remember going to Adobe Lightroom, looking through these pictures, and feeling so embarrassed. My body looked horrible horrible for some reason i happened to lose weight everywhere but somehow gained weight in my stomach i felt like i was a pregnant ant or something it was absolutely horrendous and i was just so mad and at first i was like dang francis you suck at taking pictures why do i look so bad but then it turned out we took over 100 pictures and all of them were basically the same so eventually you get to the point where it's no longer the cameraman's problem but it's your problem and then I realized, yo, I have been slacking in regards to my fitness journey. I have not been putting in the work in the gym. I don't have a gym membership. You know, I've gotten really lazy and these pictures are so embarrassing. And I said, if I'm ever gonna come back to Miami, I will never come back to Miami in this kind of shape. Fast forward two years later, and like I said, we went back to Miami, and right before I went there, I said, you know what, I want to take a picture just to see where I'm at today, comparing myself to where I was two years ago, and then here is a picture I took, and then for some people, we're like, well, you Photoshop, you Photoshop, okay, cool, I Photoshop, here is a video of my results, and some of you guys are going to be like, well, he after effects that, whatever. But the point of the matter is, at one point of my life, I was extremely unhappy with the way that I looked. Instead of simply just complaining, I decided to make a change. I decided to get in the gym. I, I decided to start dieting. I decided to start sleeping correctly. I decided to put the work on my body to get it to where I wanted it to be. And so the reason why I want to make today's video is because many of you guys and girls are in my situation. Many of you guys and girls look at yourself in the mirror. You maybe have taken a picture and like, wow, my body is wild right now. I'm either too small or I'm too big. I'm out of shape and I haven't been taking care of myself. But a lot of you guys stop right there. You stop not being happy. You stop by being discontent. You stop by simply looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, this is a problem. As I've always said, it's okay not to be okay, but it doesn't stop there. It's equally not okay to stay there. So yes, you're not where you need to be. Yes, you're not in the shape that you want to be in. But my thing is that why are you not putting in the work today? Every single last one of you guys should be putting in the work physically to get to where you need to get to in life. Like I said, there's a lot of 
workout programs that you guys can check out. If you want my workout program, you can go ahead and check it out. And there's also a free home workout program that I found. I'm going to link below um, for people who are quarantined and can't go to the gym. Guys, there's no excuse for you not becoming the best version of yourself physically. There's absolutely no excuse. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's struggle is different. But at the end of the day, it's you having to look at yourself in the mirror. And one of the things that I really admired about Steph is Cole's content when I first came across it was that Steph made a comment about personal fitness. And he said that a man who cannot establish discipline with his body and his eating will not have discipline in other areas of his life. And that is absolutely true. So many of you guys who are struggling with discipline, struggling with leveling up financially, spiritually and emotionally and in other areas, women as well, a lot of you guys who are struggling, if you learn to master the gym, if you learn how to master your body, if you learn how to get in your best shape possible, if you actually put in the effort to do so, I guarantee you, you will start seeing discipline and result in other areas of your life. But because you're lazy, because you're always complaining, because you're always whining about where you're at and not making a change, that is also true for the other areas. A lot of you guys don't like that you live with your parents, but all you're doing is complaining and not making a change. A lot of you guys don't like what you see when you look at your bank account. But all you're doing is complaining and not making a change. I can go on for days about all the different things in which you're not happy about. But you have to make a change. When I was leaving Miami in 2019, about to head back home, I could have went back to the same old ways. I could have went back to not working out. I could have went back to not eating right. I could have went back to not drinking water and not sleeping right. But then two years later, I would be here in the same position, if not a worse position, feeling bad about myself, feeling like, wow, I wasted so many years of my life. I wasted so much time I could have been doing to get in shape. I wasted it, I'm in the same position. But I didn't do that and I took this step today. You see, a lot of you guys are saying, well, I'm gonna get started tomorrow. I'm going to get started next week. I'm going to get started next month. No, guys, get started on your physical fitness journey today. It is February of 2021. If you guys commit yourself to getting in shape, I will challenge every last one of you guys to take a picture of where you look today. Take a picture where you look today. Like I said, get a fitness program, get a personal trainer if you need to, dietitian, whatever resource is available, get it ASAP. And then I guarantee you in December of this year, take another picture. Compare those two things and send it to me in December. You guys will be so impressed. You guys will be so thankful. You guys will be so excited about how you were able to change your life by making one single decision. And that one decision that I made way back in March of 2019, I'm looking forward to seeing all the men and women make it today. Like I said, guys, I always want the best for you guys. And I will never ask you to do what I'm not willing to do myself. When I'm talking about leveling up, I'm asking you to do it. But I'm also challenging myself every single day to level up and become the best version of myself. So though I was ashamed about the way my body looked in 2019, I got to be completely honest with you, I love the way I look in 2021. So my challenge to you guys is get in your best shape. Like I said, get my fitness program if you need it. But if not, find an additional resource and do whatever it takes to become the best version of yourself physically. Yo, appreciate you checking out today's video. If you want to catch another dope video just like it, check out this video right there or you can check out that video right there. I'm telling you guys you will love it. Also hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.